This is this is BB. Um, it's about 1.30 in the morning. It's the 3rd of August. And of course, I've been up since like about 1 o'clock. I went to sleep maybe like 11.30, almost 12. I slept maybe like an hour. And of course, I just, there's a gas. Right now, as I'm saying, it's like I have a lung, a, a mouthful in my throat right here. It's like a, it's, it's, people are not going to believe me if I tell them this is happening in this day and age. In modern day society, people can do this and get away with people, get away with it. The reason I can't move out from this house that I'm in is because I don't have the income to do so. I don't have the money. This woman has crippled me and crippled my business. She's pretty much with the hacking. They've con they're controlling my finances. I don't know if she's sold my business or she's taken my business or she's just just messing with the ads so that they don't run, it's just so I don't get any income. She just single-handedly basically um, messed with everything. And I know she has help. She can't do this alone. Now, I don't care anything about that. I just look at how, how bad this is. The reason I'm in here in this building, that I'm still here, is because I cannot afford to move anywhere else. I cannot afford to, to leave here to find an, another apartment because it, they'll require the first month and a deposit and I don't have enough money to, to come up with it together. I, I just don't understand how my life has taken this turn. I was involved in a, in a con last year because I thought I was helping the same woman who's doing this to me. This is how I know she was a part of it from, from, from the get-go. Because her behavior was irrational. I thought that something was wrong with her. I thought her boyfriend was abusive to her. And that was, that was a cataclysm for all of this. Uh, granted, I may have paid her too much attention, way too much. But no matter how much attention I paid her, if I was wrong, when I, I was texting her support, and I was saying, if he's doing this to you, if he, the, the, uh, the police station was close to where we lived. So I said, let's go over to the police station. I told her that like, over a hundred times. Texted her a lot. All she had to do was to set me straight. She never did. So I, this, what is happening to me is totally uncalled for. I don't deserve this. I do not deserve this. No matter what, I don't deserve this. No one deserves this. Even if I was guilty of something, I don't deserve this. I wouldn't wish this on her. As much of a despicable person that she is, I, I wouldn't wish it on her. I wouldn't wish it on her. Because this is not the way how you treat people. This, in this day and age, for this to be happening to me, and who do I tell? If I tell anybody, I'll, I'll sound stupid. They'll say, I'm using drugs voluntarily. If there's something you know about me, is I completely detest drugs. I see no use for it. I see no need for it. I, I, I just don't understand why people would use drugs. I don't understand it. And if what she's spritzing and spraying if it is drugs in, in some way, like, I don't know, then even more so I don't understand why. Because all it does is my head is hurting, my, my, my nasal passages feel like I just want to reach in there and pull it out because it, it just is on fire all the time. Your sinuses feel like, oh my God, and you, your chest here is on fire. It, you, you can feel the burning, your heart palpitations, your lungs, I mean, Tell me, what, 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 if, if, if this really is, if it is drugs, when does the good stuff start? Because what the hell is this? I mean, what, why would anybody use this at all? It's probably not drugs. It's some kind of something gaseous. It's, it's something that's just gas. That's just meant to destroy, attack my lungs and probably my brain cells. To create, you know... Um, a hardening of my arteries basically 
because aerosols, inhalants, they damage your brain, your memory. That's another part she might be going for is, is the memory. Maybe she wants me to forget my grandmother's stamps or what the stamps look like. Maybe she wants me to forget things that my father owned or something about my mother or maybe something about when I used to live uh, uh, close to her. I don't know, but she is attacking, is mostly my head and my heart she wants, my head and my heart. Those are the two areas. She wants to create as much damage as she possibly can in those two areas. But I don't know why. I don't know why. I mean, I was going along my life all along, right? I only knew her since 2017. Never in my whole freaking life have I encountered anybody. When I was a teenager, I smoked pot. Is it not a country, though? As a teenager, I smoked pot. Anything hard, harder than pot? No, 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 no. Don't even smoke cigarettes. Because it makes me sick. Literally, I start throwing up. I can't, I can't, I can't stomach it. I'm not, I, I drink maybe one six pack a year, I, if that much. I don't drink. I, I really sound like, you know, I'm, I'm just a blowhard or, or, or I'm just making this up, but I don't drink. I don't. And these are pe people who know me will, will, will attest to that. So if I just started using drugs, like, wh what happened to me within the last two years or a year that caused me to use drugs? Let's say that I got money, a big pile of money, big chunk of money. My first instinct is to go drugging, 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 drugging. Now, why would I do that? Why would anyone do that? I never used drugs in my life, so I guess I just, well, that's drugs. What else? What else is there? You know, I, this is, I get angry because this isn't right. This is the most horrible thing is, I, I don't understand what the fuck this is. I don't understand what this is. And yes. I, I speak as if I'm addressing the, the person and maybe I am. Because she hacks me relentlessly. So she, she is watching me. She is seeing this somehow. Or she's going to see it. I don't understand why she would do this. If she has a beef to, to, to pick with me, a bone to pick with me, go to the police. If she has something solid, go to the police. Because she must have like a doozy in order to do this to me. You know why? Because these type of things would never cross my mind to do to them. Where do you begin? How do you start this? They seem to be well versed in it. I, I, I don't even know where to begin. I wouldn't know where to begin. What do I go? Look at the window and find a crack and spray? What, what, what do you do? How, how do you do that? How do you do that without being seen? I don't understand. But like I've said before, for those of you who are being, you feel like your your life has just been shepherded almost. You're not you're not imagining it. You will find that you have apartment or you have your home, and then suddenly you, 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 circumstances are forcing you out. You don't live there anymore. You're living in motels and hotels, and you're crashing at people's house because your, your your income is being depleted. It's not, it's not a coincidence. It really is happening. They're basically forcing us into this, in, in, into this. And when, probably like me, when you're not voluntarily turning to drugs, they will drug your ass. They will drug you. They will illegally fucking drug you. Because a lot of people now, I guess, when, when, when hardship hits, the first thing they do is, 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 is turn to drugs. Which makes no sense to me. Because that has its own bag of problems. That's just adding to the original problems. 
That's for people who are not really looking for a way to get out of their problems or to find solutions for what's happening. They're just stepping in from one bag of trouble into a bigger bag of trouble. That's how I see life like with, with using drugs as a, an escape or alcohol. It doesn't make sense. Not, they don't really want a solution to the problem. They're just looking for an excuse to keep wallowing and, and, and doing what they, you know, doing stupid shit as far as I'm concerned. But we're the kind of people also who build things, who make things. We're creative, we're hard workers, and then we'll find that people take our shit away. They take our shit away. They elid illegally take our shit away to live like a, a an illegal uh, to live like a legal life they will push you out skirts push you out of society keep you on the sideline keep you uh, hidden you're struggling to fucking make ends meet while they keep coming at you coming at you and they're enjoying yours what what you had take it over utilizing it using the proceeds sometimes from that to, to mess with you. I think that especially gives them a special treat. There's like a special treat for them. Come up with whatever they need to come up with. If they have to set you up to get you to react to their crap so that they can feel justified in doing what they do, they will do it. They're not above that. They're not above that. In fact, I think that's most, in most cases, they have to resort to it. Because if they're going after people who are productive, usually productive people don't react in a bad way right off the bat. So they will have to do a bit of provoking, a bit of digging, a bit of poking, a bit of shit to get the person to react in such a bad way that they feel justified or they feel, well, they're scared now. They're scared now, so they have to fuck with the person. Because they will, they will look for any excuse they can in the book. And if anybody is suffering from this uh, voice to skull, as they call it, whether it is a real psychic or they're using something else, or some, you know, whatever, some other technology means, the sh shit they'll be saying to you. It's just, it's just, it's just stupid shit all the time. Stupid shit. It's just, it's just to drive you. And it's an, it's annoying as hell. They don't have any, any real. Um, well, of course, it's not an intelligence contest. It's not something to make you better off than you were before. It's something to make you worse off than you were before. Because a, a year of this in my head, along with the spritzing and spraying, is like, your life, you, you, you're mentally taking a back seat now. You, you sound like you, you, everything is slowed down. Your thought process, your productivity, your thinking faculties, the way you react to people, the way you interact with people, which is, which is symptomatic of what? Drug use. Very strong drug use. And what is common dr most drug use? Suicidal thoughts, all kinds of things. Depression, I illnesses, diseases. I mean, they, they look for, for, for the most debasing of things to do. Because drug use is such a, is such a wide umbrella here. There's so many things come under the, the umbrella of drug use. Depression, overdose. Uh, uh, irrational behavior, stupid and crazy, those are two words for the narcissist. You know, doing um, illegal things. So they, they, pick, they pick an umbrella that's pretty wide and a lot of, a lot of areas, that's the seedier side of life, it covers. And that's what they want to tack on us. They want to take it and like a thumbtack right there tacking on us brand us with that 
you go telling people the spritzing and spraying, what if they're not going to believe me? Or going to have a hard time convincing them? And I'm ranting and raving because I'm getting angry, angry. And I'm just, you know, I'm talking to somebody who's not here. And whether people are helping them or whether people are just, you know, hearing, they will say, well, well, they hear her, they hear her talking. They hear her talking. What is that? Again, what is that? Right off the bat, if you, somebody was describing this to you, what would you think? She's using drugs. She's off her rockers. No, I'm not. The good thing with me is that I am being hacked. And it, it makes me feel like I want to cry. It makes me angry. Because it feels this is unfair. This is somebody drugging me against my will. See, what they were doing was probably putting stuff in my food. But now they find that my body is probably getting weaker. So they can't keep doing that. Because if I die of an overdose and they check the food... And if they find any drugs within my, in, in, in my in, ingested, then that's foul play. So what they're doing is gassing me out like a bug. Gas. Gassing me out. This is another way. It's simple. And if you find that they will, you, you, you might be smelling stuff all the time too. You don't recognize it. Because it really doesn't have a scent, except if it's a harsh chlorine or kerosene or, or, or gasoline or something. It's not gonna have a scent mostly, but you will feel the, 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 the effects of it, that burning in your nose and your eyes and your, your, your chest and the headaches, you will feel the effects of it. It's not your imagination. It's not your imagination. Now, why people would do this, I don't know. Why people would do this to someone, I don't know. I wear the mask, but it's it, the mask isn't helping anymore. The mask isn't helping. The mask is not... My lips are burning. Everything is just... Uh, the, the mask isn't helping. It's just... It's penetrating the mask. But the only thing left, and I can't afford it, is to buy a gas mask. Like one of those uh, World War II masks. Now that'll look like I'm really high and stupid and acting, and acting stupid. Or maybe I'm, I don't know, making, cooking drugs in here or something. I mean, I, I don't know. They're going for, 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 for balls out to get me here. Balls out. And I know I sound irrational. And I know I sound like I'm making this up, but I'm not. As God is my witness, I'm not making this up. And if... It goes to court. The police will have to go through my past and see when this started. Because nobody else that I've lived around has ever, ever encountered this with me. It would be only her, probably, and, the bo and her boyfriend. This is where it would have started. So, that'll speak for itself. That's when it would have started. Nobody else would ever, ever say that. And it, I'm talking about people whose houses I've lived in or rented room from or rented an apartment from. They will say that. They will say that. So whatever you're going through, just uh, try to take it one day at a time and try to protect yourself the best you can. Um... If, the, if your masks isn't helping anymore, I, I know that what they're doing is to get us sick, is to make us sick. It's, they want us sick. These are these people who are just taking over lives now. Like I said in a previous video, this is man against man now. This is not nation against nation, this is man against man. They, they want our whole lives. They want to to be, they can't stand themselves. They can't stand who they've become. So they want to take over our lives. They feel like if they can take over our life, then they can take over our personality. It doesn't work like that. 
what they're doing is running away and escaping their own debauchery by creating more problems and, 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 and more debauchery because they don't they don't they don't want to change they don't want to make changes in their life like I just said we are people who look for solutions when there's a problem they look for a, 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 a more highfalutin way of, of, of doing things the same things they're doing which involves more fucked upness for people like me and you because we are the ones who are productive we're the ones who, who makes money we're the ones who do things legitimately and that's what they ultimately want they want our lives our identities that's what they're going for our names and what comes with our names whatever businesses we've built whatever inheritances we've had whatever is synonymous with our names they want it because it's legitimate it's legal and it comes from hard work or, or, or creativity or just being in the right place at the right time and they want it they've messed their own lives up tremendously messed it up or they want somebody else's life they want our lives we have to be strong we have to stay positive no matter what with what we've got we got to try the best we can until some thing shifts and law enforcement takes us seriously I don't know what to do where do we get help we're tired all the time we don't have any money I mean you sure you've heard this story a million times from me and other people including yourself But me and I, you know, you're hearing it all the time. They, they've taken the money, they, they've crippled the business. You're getting all these things, you, you, you feel yourself getting sick. And you know something is wrong, because you know you. You know what you do, you know what you don't do, and nobody, you can't convince anyone, you can't make anyone see that this is, is happening to you, you're not doing it to yourself. And that's the hardest part. When nobody believes you, that's psychologically damaging. You feel like all hope is gone. When the people who are supposed to believe you don't believe you. And these people, they don't have any shame. That's what they want ultimately, is to separate you from, 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 from everybody else. To make you feel like everybody don't want you. And to make everybody feel that you're just using drugs. And you're not to be trusted. They create rifts between you and your family and your friends. It, what they do is separate and sever that support system you have. Anything that makes you stronger, they will attack it and take it away. This is pretty much what they do. And they're relentless. This is the modern day criminal. This is what they do. This is what we have to come up against. And the law enforcement needs to know that we need help. We do, we really need help now. So take care and be strong. And hopefully that, you know, somebody comes up with a solution pretty soon.